Once, when the world was yet trapped in darkness, the goddess of mana felled eight incarnations of disaster that guided the world to destruction, the god beasts, with the sword of mana, and sealed them in eight stones. And as the darkness left, the world was created. The goddess of mana turned herself into a tree and fell asleep. Many years passed. Due to the actions of some who plot to unleash the god beasts from the stones, obtain power surpassing even that of the gods, and make, their wor make the world their own, conflict breaks out, heralding the end of peace. Mana is rapidly disappearing from the earth. Even the mana tree has begun to wither. Hello everyone, I am your host Melee Wizard, and get hyped! <laughs> I am, welcome to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3. The third game of the Mana series, and I think I should do that before it goes back to the start again. This is one that, this, as I said, this is the third game of the Mana series, and one that I've been looking forward to for a long time. I... I have never played this one before, so <laughs> I really have no idea what's going on. I don't, not really sure what what the controls are, or at least how they're any different than Secret of Mana, I guess. And I guess more to the point, I don't know who these six people are or what they can do. As such, I am going to actually be able to see my mouse out again. What I am going to do is I'm going to remove that, close my eyes, and pick these th three of these people at random. I, <laughs> that's just that'll just make things a lot more interesting, and <laughs> we'll we'll see what comes of it. Like as I said, I have no idea what the who does what, so let's just find out for ourselves, huh? So. Like, I do have my eyes closed, so even I don't know who these, who I'm picking, so... That's one. And two. And three. I know the the plot can go in a lot of different places depending on who you choose. So y you can. Oh, I got Duran. All right. Yeah, 
yeah. I, so you can play this. This game has a lot of replay value just because of all that stuff that I was saying. Swordsmanship tournament. Oh boy. Uh, Bruiser. Is that really your name, or is that that? I don't know. Okay, I see. Having some idea of what my controls are here. And I know if I do that... Okay, well, that did some damage to you. And while it doesn't have the... Uh, the... Uh, the the meter that Secret of Mana has, at least there's some indication when I'm able to attack again. But it's but it only kicks in when I actually hit someone. And wow, that worked out well. Duran, son of Loki, has won the contest. Yay! <laughs> That was kind of easy, actually. Oh, uh, can I talk to you? Yep, uh, can I talk to you? No. Duran, mercenary of the grasslands, country Forsena. His father, Loki, served the kingdom as one of the elite knights of gold. But at a time in Duran's young days, Loki went away, never to be seen again. After losing his mother to an illness, Duran was raised by his aunt Stella. Though he hardly remembered his father, swordsmanship ran in his blood. With this skill, he came to serve King Richard as a mercenary of Forsena. Uh, and, he's, and right now he's working as a guard? Okay. Uh, let me see. Do I have access to the to the menus at some point, or is this still just pure plot? Oh my! Memories of him as an infant. I think. Nope. Never mind. It's the dragon extermination. The enemy this time is the one called Dragon Emperor. The most powerful of all among the dragon tribe. But it'll be alright. With Prince Richard and I together, we'll win for sure! Duran, take care of Mom and your sister Wendy while I'm gone. Okay, and that's... that's when he was never seen again? Because apparently the trip to the Dragon Emperor didn't go quite as planned, I guess? He and the Dragon Emperor both fell into a bottomless pit. So, why do I have the feeling I'm going to be seeing both of them at some point? We stayed there for a week afterwards searching for him, but no luck. Oh dear. So, I guess, I'm guessing she died of a broken heart then? Maybe? Didn't really specify when Duran's mother died. Oh, okay, or maybe it was a pre existing thing. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's not a pleasant memory to have to revisit. Doesn't matter who you are. Oh. Okay, okay. Start does do the menus. Or...
Uh, there we go. Okay, and that's why. Okay, there's the menus in the corner. Uh, and I can save from here, which I should. Once I press the right button, I should do that. Uh, I know that there was one of these segments. I want to say it's that battle one on the left side that would reveal. Really, I can't. I can't save right from here. Okay, fine. There's. I think it's that battle one on the left side that would uh, reveal who the other two people are that I chose. And I don't want to do that right now. Because I, I don't want to spoil myself over the, who, the whoever. Ah, there we go. So that's the save point here. Works for me. Uh, okay. And I... Okay, that's... I do have a run button, okay. Uh-oh. Who is that? Alright, what's going on here? Who the heck are you? Oh, you're a guy named Wizard. Fine. Yeah, well, if you keep warping around like that, how the heck am I supposed to hurt you? Employing children to soldiers. Says you. Uh oh. Ow. Yeah, ow. Ooh, dear. And they finally wake up. With such pitiful defenses, I can't see how you can last much longer, though. Okay. Hey, you can't fall unconscious. You still have 8 HP. Last night, a mysterious wizard infiltrated the castle and killed all the guards that were on duty. Oh! I thought they were asleep! Silly me! Except for Duran, who just barely survived. Witnesses reported that the wizard was wearing a red cape. That must have been the famous Wizard of the Red Lotus from the Magic Kingdom Alt Altina. Altina is sending spies into our country? They must be planning an invasion! We should launch a preemptive strike, oh gods. We can't let them be the first to attack. They kind of already did! We have no hard evidence that Altina is planning an Yay! He actually have the king actually having a thought process. Last night, someone infiltrated the castle without being noticed. Not even Duran could stop him. I don't believe we have the resources necessary for an all-out invasion. And I certainly don't want our troops to be lured into some kind of trap. Our top priority right now is to step up our security at this castle. Secondly, we'll send an operative into Altina to investigate the matter. Gee, I wonder who that would be. Altina. Queen of Reason. Why would they choose to attack us? Oh! Wendy! Okay. <laughs> so even you don't know who the heck this wizard is. You've never heard of it. Was it the Wizard of the, Bla of the Red Lotus, I think it was? Oh dear. Well, that's not good. And 
and a puppy dog. So. Uh, can I talk to you? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The very th Well, you never think about it until that actually happens. Um, may maybe later. So... Can I read the mailbox? No, I can't. And there's Maya in the east. Well, given the, the potential for the invasion, that's... I can under understand that. Just looking around, seeing what there is to be had. And that one doesn't like me. Father Loki fought the Dragon Emperor to his death. That is the way of the night. Yeah, except for the dying part. I'll... I'll, I'll go without the dying part. If I can help it. And yeah, the city's on lockdown. Oh, but after dark. Okay, so we're on a curfew. Makes sense. Ooh. And I can't even get to you. Oh, I can talk to you, though. You don't know what a mercenary really is, really, do you? Oh, got the shops. What do we got? What do you have? You've got just basically the basic stuff. Well, probably mostly just so I see what the mechanics of the shop is, I guess. So, what does our L and R do nothing as of now? And what was select does nothing, but start brings me to item storage, I guess. Oh. Okay. Uh, what does this sign say? Beware of dog. <laughs> this is a cute little sleeping puppy. Uh, let's see. What? What is this one? Second floor fortune teller. Ooh, and I can talk to you. Flowers blooming early is a. Is an omen. Oh, well, that's okay. I didn't even see that path there before. And I already talked to you, and that way leads up to the castle. Something tells me I need to see the fortune teller here. A person's life is 99% fate, the other 1% is your hope guiding you. Says something about, uh, uh, what's the phrase I'm thinking of here? Ah, whatever. You look like you could use a fortune telling. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, hey, off the counter. If you want to get that strong, go to Wendell. The priest of light will tell you about class changing. Hello, fourth wall. <laughs> the only class you'll be changing into is immature bully. Okay. Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, might as well see if we've got anyone to talk to here. Oh, we've got a couple people here. Ah, item shop. So, ah, and I can actually see, it actually tells me what what it does. Nice. Uh, I'll buy one, I guess. And that's... Well, I, hey, is it wrong that I wanted to talk to you? Just... A ship left for the castle for the castle city Jad not too long ago. That's the closest port to Wendell. Okay. 
So at least now I have an objective in mind. Alright, time to head for home, I guess. And there's sleep. Well, at least she's happy for me on that front, even though she's not happy with me for other reasons. I don't know why I thought there was something in the barrels, but eh. Ooh, treasure. Duran packs for his journey. I will not forgive that wizard. Whatever happens, I'll defeat him without fail. Until then, I cannot come back. I won't go back. It's one thing to be exiled, but it's another thing to have be have self-imposed exile, I guess. Oh boy. Will it actually... Oh, it's daytime now. Oh, and nope. Couldn't sneak out. Oh. Okay. Uh, so it's more of a keepsake than anything else. So I didn't get uh, better equipment right off the bat. Oh. I haven't... Well, at least they're aware of things, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's see, where was the menus again? I think it was... I don't think in terms of A, B, X, Y. I, I think in terms of which button is this on my controller. Ah, dang it. And eventually I'm going to get all of this sorted out. <laughs> uh. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't... Alright, fine. Well, now, let's see... Oh, and the puppy's still asleep. Might as well see what other information I can get in here before heading up the... <laughs> Hello, Wendy's brother, okay. Because there might be other information. I don't think I ever went in here, though. Not that it really... Not that there's anyone in here in the first place. Although it looks like we might just—it might just be the same group of people here. Go south until you reach Maya. Okay, south to Maya, and then to ship to Jad. Okay. Oh, there was something in here. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. All the best to you. I was reading this book about the mana tree. Okay. Is there anyone in here that wasn't here before? Not really. Let me guess here. Okay. Well, let's see. How? I wonder how long this conversation with the king will be. Uh, no, no, no rest for the weary. There we go. <laughs> I feel like I should be talking to some of these guys, but yeah. Or if nothing, there might be treasure here that I can commandeer. Oh, 
there's nothing here. Ah, uh, you never know what you might find. Nope, nothing here either. And you know what? I think I'm just going to explore the palace a little bit more and I think I'm going to end things off because I don't know how long this conversation with the king will take. Although I think I might not actually be able to explore much because it's going to it's forcing my hand now. Okay. Well, this seems like a good as good a spot as any to end things off and Oh boy, I can only imagine how what where this game will take me and how lost I'll end up getting along the way. So, join me next time when I talk to the king and then head out on to my journey. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard and have a nice day.